What an amazing puzzle Tesla box is. I'm still under impression. My favorite part is when bulbs start doing their sequence and they turn on slow and then do it quicker and quicker and quicker until they blink so fast and then stop and nothing happens. And you have to figure out what to do next in order to uh, turn on the plasma ball. If you haven't watched my Tesla box video, click right here. I solved this amazing puzzle with my friend Greg from Puzzle Wonder channel. And if you want to know more about Tesla box, keep watching the video since I interviewed Andy Gucker from Canada, who is the puzzle designer of the Tesla box and Bomb Squad puzzle. If you want to know more about both these puzzles, link is going to be in the video description. This interview is totally spoiler free. We talked a lot with Andy, we even discussed some details of the Tesla puzzle box, but I had to cut them to keep this interview safe to watch for those people who are still thinking about buying the Tesla puzzle box. Enjoy the interview and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. So Andy, how are you? I'm pretty good, how about you? I'm super excited. I solved the puzzle like on Monday, four days ago, and my mind is just still blown. I can't even describe how good this puzzle is. Thank you. It was so a great experience. It was one of a kind puzzle. I guess the, uh, the whole secret of the puzzle is hidden right inside. Uh, there is some kind of a motherboard which holds all the secrets, all the data that then translates into flashes of the bulbs and other stuff yeah 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 it's all hidden in the code but uh yeah i think um actually i think that i have a certain advantage because i've never been a fan of entirely mechanical puzzle actually and uh, that may be surprising since i'm designing puzzles but um i think i always think that when you do the mechanical puzzle after that um it's rather simple, you follow a certain steps and it doesn't change. And with a, an electronic puzzle, you can change the code and make a different puzzle all by itself, you know? So um, so I think I have a certain advantage because, well, I wasn't interested in making all mechanical puzzles. Um, my, I make other puzzles and I'm working right now on my third one. And this one, I may have a little bit more mechanical parts to it, but, um, but I think that I keep my or originality uh, being someone who's not interested in mechanical puzzles. How you came up with idea of yeah. your first puzzle? What is your background, first of all? My background, I'm right now I'm, I'm finishing my degree in biotech engineering, which is we make, uh, you know, right now we will, well, vaccines. So we're going to work with vaccines to make it uh, something that we can uh, we work with companies like they say Pfizer to send it to people. Um, th that's only one job of the biotech engineering. We see biotech in a lot of different fields, like uh, let's say a wine brewery, um, bread. That's more general biotech. But uh, right now we see a lot of jobs in uh, genetics and everything that has nothing to do with puzzles. Uh, just just uh, a puzzle is only a hobby that has started. And then I saw that a lot of puzzles, a lot of people were interested in puzzles that I was doing. Like I, I tried it with around 30 people and they were all like, when can we buy it? And I'm like, I'm not ready to sell it. So I, I didn't, um, I didn't sold it until about six months after I tested it and it took a long time. And, um, so yeah, so that's, that's my background. I'm finishing right now. I started, uh, Mystery Co, which is, a um, my company for, for the puzzles uh, about January, 2021. So we're now uh, about 10 months in and uh, yeah, I'm working on my third puzzle. My second is, is coming up uh, right now. That's uh, quite new to you. So it's less than one year, but you already uh, made two amazing puzzles. I don't know about the second one. I saw photos. I saw uh, live uh, from Puzzle Masters uh, Facebook page where they uh, told that they already have this puzzle uh, for sale and it looks amazing. It comes in this box, which makes this puzzle look so solid. It looks like some kind of a secret object or maybe like a case for the nuclear bomb or something else. That is just the very good looking presentation of the puzzle. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what, what, about, what about the difficulty level of the puzzles uh, on your opinion? Which one is more difficult? The first one, the Tesla puzzle box or the bomb squad? The, the bomb squad is, I think, definitely uh, harder. The bomb squad is the second one. I think it's harder. The reason is it's way more stressful. 
um, you have to defuse a bomb, uh, you have the time restrictions. So it's way more stressful. So people are sometimes when they are good under pressure, they make the bomb squad look easier than the Tesla box, um, solve it quicker. But when they can't handle the, the stress, uh, it just goes haywire and they can't do anything. <laughs> Tesla was quite stressful sometimes as well, <laughs> since when the lamps uh, start uh, making this sequence, when they uh, turn on slow and then uh, do it much quicker and quicker and quicker and the, then you just expect that it's gonna explode or something really bad is gonna happen but then boom and nothing happens and you sit and wait. Tesla puzzle box uh, teach you to be very patient. You have to do something and then you have to wait. Wait for the result and sometimes it takes like 15 seconds, 20 seconds uh, to get the response from the box. That is quite a tricky stuff. Since usually when, when I solve like uh, wooden puzzles, I do it quick, like remove one piece, then another, then try to uh, many different combinations in like five seconds. I can try different uh, 10 different combinations. But here I do something and I have to wait, yeah. wait for the result. With, you know, the, those wooden puzzles where you, you do this, you kind of get into a flow where you don't even think you just try to move pieces. And when they move in a different way, you just kind of, OK, what does that do? And then you try different things, but you're brain is not i think 100 percent on but but when uh, i make a puzzle that you have to stop and think what does that do um uh, i think that makes you um have to think harder and find new new ways to do that but actually there's only one part that you really have to wait and i meant like it was designed to be that way to create a suspense um uh, for does it do really something it's a part that you have to um really have to think of uh, like a question you have to think uh, of the answer and then wait to see if you have the answer and uh, that yeah that was designed uh, that way you uh, mentioned uh, that uh, you're not big uh, fan of just the regular mechanical puzzles but are you a fan of puzzles at all do you have a collection of puzzles uh, do you solve them sometimes or you just design puzzles and never try puzzles from other designers? I I prefer to do, uh, to create puzzles. Like when we play a game, I, I'm i gonna, for the first time, I'm gonna play the game, but the second, third, fourth time, I wanna change the game and make it, I think, better. And I think that's something that it's innate to me, uh, innate to a lot of other people too. But um, every time I, I play a game, I wanna create, a game. So when I saw a lot of puzzle videos on, on YouTube and I, I thought that I could actually try to make um, a puzzle myself. So I tried the, um, I tried the Tesla box and uh, kind of worked out. I think that uh, not every person can create a puzzle. You know, it's, it, it is a little bit like uh, being an artist. I can't draw a picture of a, of a dog. All what I can do is going to be like uh, two sticks like legs, something like a cucumber, it's a body of a uh, dog and that's it. But uh, my father, he's a painter, he can create a beautiful picture uh, of a dog. So I think that the puzzle designers are similar. Uh, some people, they can't design a puzzle, but some people have something different uh, in their brain and they can do better. Yeah. Since sometimes it takes a lot of brain to solve a puzzle, but it takes much bigger brain to design a puzzle. It takes, I think it takes a different brain, not necessarily a bigger brain, but it takes something different. Like I said, for me, I need to create, I need to make new stuff. If not, if not, I'm just really bored. So I have to create to make stuff. And that's the way I express myself with puzzles. Uh, I, I want to ask you about the Tesla box. Do you make the entire box by yourself or the, the wooden part, the 3D printing, the inner parts that we don't see well everything so i started making the the wooden box myself i learned how to work the wood i haven't worked with wood uh for a long time before that um and i heard how do you sand the box the way it is well I, we i don't think we uh, um we see it a lot in the videos but there are no sharp corners i didn't want any sharp corners i wanted it to be really smooth i wanted it to be uh, dyed uh, with a, uh, let's say, a, an old wood 
uh, it's kind of die. I want it to be... Yeah, actually the box uh, really looks like an old one. Like uh, I, I bought this puzzle somewhere on a flea market and it is like 50 or 60 years old. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you did a great job on the wooden Thank part. Thank you. Thank you. So I did all, I, I do the holes, I do everything. Uh, yeah, the light comes just like that, uh, the plasma ball and everything, the wiring, I do all myself. And then I learned myself on the second puzzle, how to do the, the a PCB design. A PCB is a pla uh, printed circuit board. Because I learned to do that, I changed the way the Tesla box was made. So the second one helped me to do the first one better. You had to learn a lot uh, in order to make this puzzle. You mentioned that uh, you're working on your third puzzle. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit or it's totally a secret and you can't say even a word about it? Uh, you can see both of my first puzzles. So you know the third one, what I'm working on or, or the values that I think are important. For me, it needs to be great looking. It needs to be unique like i don't want to see um another puzzle like that out there and um to be a little i'm gonna say it has an egyptian team to it so something that and it's way different than other boxes basically it's going to be something as good and as exciting as the first two i wish it would be better I want it to be better than the first. Oh, time. it's definitely going to be better since you Thank you're you. growing. You're you're making a better job uh, each time. You're learning some new stuff, and probably in the next puzzle you're going to do I don't know some magic. What uh, is uh, the date when the next one will be released? It's going to be it's going to happen in the 2022 or sooner, maybe Christmas. Oh, you wish. Uh, there's I don't think there's a way I can make it like on Christmas. My my window that I gave myself is about nine months. So and I started on beginning of September. So we're only a month in. I'm just in the, the concept phase. I'm looking for um, ideas for games. I'm looking for ideas for looks. I want uh, I'm looking for ideas for a bunch of things. I'm gathering everything and trying to make um, sense of all of it. So it's going to be the middle of the next year. Next year. And I think well, I'm, I'm trying to shorten that to make sure that I can do uh, what I actually like the most is getting the idea and making plans for it. And then uh, when I have this, uh, all the prototyping, all the assembly and everything, uh, I think it would be better if I give it up to someone and then try to create a new one. That way I could create more puzzles within a year. Have you heard a lot of feedbacks from the uh, puzzlers who bought the puzzle? I asked for people to send me a picture, a feedback or something. And that's something that really, um, that makes me want to do the next puzzle. I want to see where it is. Like I see it on your top shelf there. And it's, yeah. I think it's, it's great. I want to see it um, at people's places. A lot of people are proud of, buying a puzzle that's unique. And uh, a lot of people send me messages saying, that's cool, that's cool. Um, and that's why I think that I sell those puzzles at a higher price because I want it to be something that you really look forward to and not something that you buy because it's oh, it looks kind of cool. Not really into it, but it's, it's kind of cheap, so I'm going to buy it. I want it to be something that you buy with a purpose to it and to put it on your main shelf. I have only Tesla puzzle box and it is so amazing. Now after solving it and having it on my shelf, I'm like, I want to show it to people. I want to show it to as yeah. many people as possible. I even thought about like, okay, now I live in Czech Republic. Uh, do I know uh, some YouTubers from Czech Republic who will be interested in solving this puzzle since it is so good that I want to share it with other people and see how, yeah. how they react uh, on the puzzle. My wife, who is not very interested in puzzles at all. She's as excited as I am to post in the video of my solution on YouTube. Thinks it's gonna be like the best video that I've uh, ever made on my channel. And that's that's just because of the puzzle, not because my video was good, but because the puzzle is so amazing that uh, a lot of people want to see it. I think. Well, your video is good too. Um, the 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 part that I liked about the Tesla box, I think, I, I, because it was my first puzzle, I just got uh, lucky with it. Is it's looking at it, it's rather simple. There's a phone, there's switches, and then there's a key. So it looks simple, but no rules are given on what to do. So you don't know 
when you do something what what does that do and then you have to figure out the rules of let's say that particular game i think that uh, it is very good that i invited my friend to solve a puzzle with me since this is definitely a puzzle uh, that you want to share and enjoy with somebody else. Uh, not just uh, have it for yourself and solve it by yourself, but share it with people since it is very exciting to do it with somebody else. You can play for one to three people on the Tesla box, but on the second one too, the bomb squad, you have one to three people. And I'm working right now on the third one, which I want it to be one to three people. I think it makes the puzzle solving a lot more fun when you're with someone uh, trying to solve it. There's more cooperation. I don't have any other questions left. So we talked about uh, both of your puzzles and a little bit about your upcoming puzzle, which is not very soon, but going to happen in the middle of the next year. Do you have something else to say to my viewers? Go watch your video. I think <laughs> it's great. What's your, the, the, the YouTube channel of your friend again? Puzzle Wonder. Go watch uh, his video to his reaction. Uh, you guys taking a beer. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to reach uh, uh, on uh, my website, it's mysteryskull.com. Something that I do um, is that I include people that are subscribed to my newsletter for on the next puzzle. Um, so I ask them questions. Do you think that would be great or that would be great? And uh, sometimes I hesitate between two things and they are the deciders between which idea I go with. Okay, so uh, so your subscribers uh, who subscribe to your newsletters can uh, help you to create the next puzzle. Yeah, so, so well, on, on the Bomb Squad, I, uh, I didn't know how to make for example, I didn't know how to make the end caps because on a bomb you can have mo there's different types of end caps. You can have uh, end caps that are uh, end caps that are over. You have end caps that are um, just underneath. You have let's say the tube's gonna be could be empty. You can have different things. And we I post a, a different all the different ideas that I thought were good, but I didn't know which one was great. And then when I I send the newsletter and ask for uh, for their opinion, and almost everyone said we want it flush and don't see through it with the three D printed part on the uh, on on the sides. And uh, I added a little triangle, just saying like warning, uh, like that's dynamite on, on the end. And uh, so they helped me doing the bomb squad. Like uh, without them. I had trouble figuring out which one to take. Also, to add just a little uh, detail on the newsletter, I also send the updates of, let's say, what I worked on, let's say, this week. Um, so you're going to see the, the making of the next puzzle. Oh, okay. So your newsletters are uh, like uh, they, uh, you send them on constant basis, like once a, once a week. Weekly. Oh, okay. And it's totally free. So you go on my website, mysteryskull.com. You enter your email address and that's it. And you're going to set, you're going to receive every single week. And what I did this week, uh, um, the ideas that I'm, I'm hesitating on, uh, you're going to see a bunch of things. And I think my goal is, all I send mostly is images. I don't want to send a big load of text. I think that's boring. I like uh, images of, let's say, for the, for the bomb squad, I thought, which color do I want the red to be? There's a lot of red colors. Actually, I was hesitating a lot. And um, so I, I, I took a picture of all the different reds. And uh, we saw that the one almost in the middle was, was great for it. It was scary enough and it wasn't uh, too playful. I thought that you are sending these emails like once in a while, but if you do it uh, like weekly, that is uh, really something that people have to subscribe to. That's gonna be quite interesting and people will be first to hear something new about upcoming puzzles. Yeah, okay, that was uh, great. Uh, we learned a lot of stuff about Andy, the puzzle designer of the uh, Tesla puzzle box and Bomb Squad, the new puzzle, which you can uh, buy at Andy's website. I'll put a link yeah. in a video description. You can uh, go uh, buy a puzzle or subscribe to a newsletter from Andy. So thank you very much for this interview. I wasn't expected at all uh, that uh, we're gonna do that, but that was like, Quite logical after solving a puzzle, a amazing, unique puzzle to have an interview with the puzzle designer. Hope my viewers going to enjoy it as well. Thanks to you. A great video again. And I wish to, uh, to work with you uh, in the future.
Oh, if you are still here, I want to know how good was my drawing of a dog. Leave a comment.